Hey, what's going on, guys? So I made it through all my classes, finished all my finals, graduated from UAF. So I'm feeling really good on top of the world. It's an awesome feeling, graduating from college, moving on to the next step in life. But I've still got my responsibilities as an RA. Everyone's been moving out of the building. Each resident that leaves, we have to do a room checkout, make sure their room's all clean, that there's no damages to the room. And there's eight floors in this building and about 40 people on each floor. So that's a lot of residents that you have to check out. But it's Monday, everyone is now officially moved out. It's just the RAs left in the building. The parking lots are empty. And now the RAs have to go through each and every room, vacuum and wipe it all down. So today's gonna be a bunch of work. And on top of all that, I've gotta start packing up my own room so I can leave in the next two days. All right, time to start cleaning and packing. Quick update, I just got finished cleaning out this disgusting trash can. Me and Ben are bombing through all these rooms, cleaning up. We've done like 15 rooms, doing a deep clean on every single one, scrubbing everything down, making sure it's ready for the next resident. Uh, it's 10 o'clock right now, so we're gonna call it a night uh, and start back work up tomorrow. All right, see you, Ben. Catch you later. Okay, so now that I'm off work, uh, I'm gonna get some running clothes on, go on a little bit of a run. So the thing is, I've been going to the gym regularly playing basketball, but I need to start getting in shape for the Mount Marathon race. So I'm going to get some running clothes on and do some short intervals up the steep hill. I went on like a four mile run yesterday, so today I'm gonna do a little bit more shorter workouts, uh, just intervals up the hill. All right, let's get going. All right, just gonna get started with the 10 minute warm up. That was a good 10 minute warm up. So at UAF we call this suicide hill. For one, it's really steep, but for another, this is the way to the gym in the winter time and it gets super icy and snowy and so people are always falling and tumbling down this hill, so we call it suicide hill. So I think I'm gonna do about six intervals up this steep hill and then keep climbing up this hill and go to the top of those stairs uh, and then kind of slowly jog back down as a cool down. Oh, this is exhausting. Here's a beautiful night for a run though. Well, last run is over. I had some pretty consistent intervals. I started with 57 seconds. My next one was 58. I sprinted and got 54. Uh, my next one was 58 and my last one I ended strong with 55 seconds. So I just need to get a short cool down run in and then I'm gonna head inside, shower and get ready for bed. Okay, I'm gonna call that a night. See you guys tomorrow morning. Okay, it's a new day, time to start cleaning again. Me and Ben woke up at nine o'clock to get back on to work and crank out some more cleaning. So let's get to cleaning. the man 
So it's 11 o'clock and we just got done cleaning. But now that I'm done cleaning the entire building, I've got to clean and pack my room. I'm leaving in less than 24 hours. Tomorrow at 6 p.m. we're off contract and I'm hitting the road. So I've got to have all this stuff packed and out of here so I can check out of this room and then head back home. But there's so much I need to do. I need to make my bed. And all these clothes need to get put away. And everything on this wall, like this shelf, and this shelf, and this shelf, and everything on this wall, and everything up. Whoa, where did that laundry come from? Well, let's get that folded and put away. And now we can take care of the left side. And it's 3 a.m., so it's time for bed. <coughs> Good night. Well, another big day ahead of me. Lots more cleaning to do outside of the building, uh, and then I gotta finish the rest of my room. Okay, so I've been cleaning the last few hours, and now it's our lunch break, so I gotta get my room packed while I have a break. First things first, I gotta move the furniture. All right, see you later, dorm room. The time has come to take down the door sign. So I've got everything out of my room. Now it's time to get everything into my car. Everything to my name right there, plus two totes in my car. Alright, let's hit the road. Well, it's 9 o'clock. I'm finally in my car hitting the road. I was expecting to do this about two and a half hours ago and take a nice slow trip, uh, you know, stop and fly the drone. But I'm going to be getting into Anchorage at like 1, 2 a.m. So I'm just going to try and go straight all the way there, maybe stop once or twice, but not waste any time. Get to my aunt's house and get some sleep. Hi, how are you? Hey, thank you. Gotta grab some food before the long trip home. Well, just passed the sign that said 360 more miles to go. It's gonna be a long drive ahead of me. I was prepared for a road trip with some espresso chocolate cookie crumble ice cream. Gotta treat yourself. Well, you can't really see them, but there's some huge mountains off to my left. I really do enjoy this drive, just not when it's black out and you can't see the beautiful mountains or the moose along the side of the road. Thankfully, it's summertime in Alaska and it's midnight right now and we still have a little bit of dusk. But I got like five hours of sleep last night and worked all day and driving right now. I'm getting exhausted. I really just want to be there already.
Well, even though the sun is completely set, I have a full moon tonight, which is nice because my headlights aren't very good, so I can still see both sides of the roads, no problem. Well, it's 1 a.m. and I'm getting super tired, but I'm just slowly nibbling on this disgusting protein bar, and it's so gross, it's keeping me awake, so not a pleasant thing, but I guess I gotta do what I gotta do. Less than an hour till I get to Wasilla, and then only a 30 minute jump from Wasilla to Anchorage, so we're making progress, almost there. made it into Wasilla, so that means 40 more miles and then I'm at my cousin's house. There's my exit. All right, I made it to my uncle's house. Look at this, they made the couch into a bed, all just for me. So I'm gonna get some sleep, guys. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and I reply to all of your guys' feedback. So leave a comment, I'll reply. Make sure you go check out the next video of how I got home, and we'll see you guys next time.